Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. This is the second take on this video. You know, the other day I posted a, a live or a shot live video up on the channel, and it did really well, and it seemed to me that you guys like these live format type videos. So I shot one this morning already, and then there was an error, and it failed to upload. Um, something that happens occasionally when dealing with YouTube or social media, I don't know, maybe it's something I did, hard to say. So if you were one of the people that were on earlier and saw what I was doing, I apologize. This is kind of a, a duplicate to the live people that actually saw it. But we're going to take a look at these new knobs that I've got. Now, what they are, they're knobs to replace the radio knobs um, that have little cutouts in them to allow light to penetrate through the back. And I've tried to find something like this before. I never could. Finally, I did. The only uh, question for me is whether or not they actually fit, and they did fit. I'm gonna show you in a minute because of course we actually put them on. It's very simple to do, I'll show you. Um, they come from HAT Design. Everybody always asks, where, where's the link? Where do they come from? I don't have a link, but this is where they come from. They are easy to find, so no big deal. Um, before I go any further, since this is going to be uploaded, not edited, live, uh, like the first one I shot that didn't work, um, I got to put a little blurb in here, and it is, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell wherever it is on your screen so that you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Helps out the channel, all that, and don't forget to give a thumbs up. So we're gonna step into the truck. I'll show you what I did. Unfortunately, I already stuck them on in the first video. And part of that, why I, I can't show you the install again is because I tried to pull them off and they're on there very well. What I'm talking about are these knobs right here. Let's make sure we get you guys in the frame. Are right here, they replaced these knobs. Now, I say they're easy to do because they are. All you do is pull these off. You can do it with your hand. I thought I might need some pry tools, but you don't. Just grab them with your hand, your fingers, and they pull right off. And then the other ones have the same kind of a uh, nub on the back, if you will, that fits over the stud on the radio. Now, like I said, I was going to just redo the whole video because it didn't upload uh, and go ahead and put them on again, but these are on so tight, I was afraid if I pulled them off, I would actually damage them or they would not stay on uh, after I put them on again. So that's what they look like. Obviously, they're a little bit bigger, you guys can see here, and they sit out further, so they're easier to grab onto. And since we do actually have a true, real uh, radio or volume knob or knobs on the radio, um, use these frequently. I don't use what's on the steering wheel over here. I always use the knob itself. I'm one of those people, give me knobs. I have to have knobs, right? Now, the other thing I mentioned is these are translucent. Now they have little cutouts all around the inside edge uh, that lets light show through. And of course, the originals showed light through as well on this little circle, I believe. So we're going to start up the truck and I'll let you see what they look like uh, with the lights on, just to prove that you can actually see through them. Let's let the radio boot up here, make sure that it's not going to play any craziness like that. By the way, do leave a comment. Let me know if you like this new live kind of format. It's kind of fun for me uh, because, well, it's easier, obviously, if I don't have to sit in front of a computer and, and edit for two hours or an hour or whatever. Uh, it's simpler for me. It's just a straight shoot and upload. Uh, I do have to always remember, though, to, to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel because I won't have those little boxes that pop up that ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. So here we go. You guys can check them out. Um, hopefully you can see they are lit up. Yeah, I think that comes through really well. Oh, there's a comment. Do they sell them for 2019? I believe so, but you'd have to check AJT's website. I'm not sure. So you can see the light coming through in the sides, right? That's what I wanted. Both sides, you've got lighting on both sides coming through. And of course, it would be much more profound if we were actually in the dark, you know, at night. And they do match 
uh, the rest of the lighting inside the truck. Now, there is a little mod you could do uh, to these themselves, and that is to paint these uh, with some sort of translucent paint. All you need is a dab around the edges, and I believe, let me feel, yeah, they are indented, so you could just drop a drop of paint in there, let it dry, real thin, little, little bit, let it dry, and then you would have color coming through, depending on what color you wanted or just to have it to match the truck. You know, I thought about that with the green theme that I have going. I've got green buttons, uh, and of course over here I have the green on the aux beam screen. Uh, but it does match the blue in the truck. Not a bad look by any means. I do like the way that it looks, but that's just a, an additional mod you could do if you really wanted to maybe dress them up a little bit. As I mentioned, I do like the size of them. Let's make sure we get you guys in. Again, this is live, so I'm kind of trying to watch that uh, you guys can see what I'm doing. But you can grab them much easier. And they do push in and out. Uh, no issues there. The stud on the back of the knobs themselves is long enough that it gives you that play to be able to turn the radio off and on like that. So I dig that. That also uh, was something I was concerned about because the other ones are shorter, as you can see, hopefully there. Um, but they're OEM, so they're designed to kind of push on in, and these don't have any problems with that. They are on there really tight, as I mentioned, so tight that I did not pull them off to redo this video since it didn't upload uh, from the first live that I did. As far as price goes, I don't remember off the top of my head. Seems to me they're somewhere in the... 20 to 30 dollar range uh, but you can check out their site if you really want to know that um, a little bit pricey i mean they are like to watch your live videos thanks gary i appreciate that again trying to catch comments as they come through uh m jones jam yeah i would i would put the music on but the problem is that's a copyright thing so i can't do that or youtube won't like me anymore and will demonetize my video uh, so we can't do that uh, but anyway, they're rather pricey, uh, but still, they look awesome in the truck. And wouldn't it be cool if Toyota actually did something like this? I mean, why go with these chintzy little cheapo, you know, knobs with chrome? And that's the other thing. You notice these have silver or chrome on them. Uh, I no longer have that. The chrome is gone. Now, we have a little bit more chrome to eliminate in here. You might be able to guess what the next mod is going to be. That's going to be a, a more lengthy uh, install. It's more complicated if you do it right. And I always try, anyway, to do, uh, to do them right. So that'll be upcoming. Uh, another mod from AJT, by the way. Anyway, leave a comment. Great video. They do sell them for the 19. Awesome. Good to know, man. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new uh, lighted knobs as well as this different kind of format that I'm kind of experimenting with. You know, doing a, a live stream kind of video upload with no editing. And you get it as it happens. If there are problems or issues like the first video I did that didn't upload, you're going to know about it. It's like a, a real world video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.